Hello everybody, welcome back. Now, do you like to code and you're interested in cyber security or cloud security and you're confused, should you go into application security or cloud security as an entry level career? Well, then stick around in this video, I'm going to talk about both of these entry level careers and which is ideally suited for you if you know coding or you're interested in code or you want to secure applications should you go with cloud security or application security? If you have been following this series, I've talked about things like uh, L1 SOC analyst and a GRC, but application security and cloud security is a bit unique because there's a lot of overlap between these two entry level positions. And I'm going to talk about this in today's video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tamurish Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services. And in this channel, I give advice about cloud security, AI, and general career advice. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and uh, let's get started. Okay, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about today cloud security engineer versus application security. This is part three of my ongoing series on entry level careers compared with cloud security. Like the cloud security is an entry level career or something else. So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, application security, right? So we're talking about these two areas, which is cloud or uh, application security. And it depends a lot on what your skills are, what you find interesting. And of course, I wanna talk about which of these is more vulnerable to AI and automation. And always a disclaimer, this is my personal subjective opinion. If you feel differently, please go right ahead. No, no issue at all, right? So first of all, like an overview of the roles, right? What does each of these roles do? So let's talk about an application security engineer. As an AppSec engineer, you are responsible for securing the applications that a company is running, right? Be it web applications, mobile applications, you're supposed to conduct static and dynamic code analysis. There are tools which you can do. You can use a commercial one, you can use an open source one, performing secure code reviews, helping developers fix their vulnerabilities. It's not about just generating a report and sending it to them, right? You have to explain to them and there's a lot of back and forth. If you've ever worked in AppSec, you know that the first report is usually not accepted. There's a lot of back and forth between yourself and the teams, helping developers fix the issues that are there. You might even have bug bounty programs, more mature, mature companies have that or penetration testing. And basically, you know, secure coding practices, which is shift left. You must have heard that like a million times in your career, uh, shift left. You have to shift security left and make it as part of the pipeline and part of the ID, maybe all of these things. It's a very exciting career. I started my career as a software developer and application security is still something which I'm very, very interested in, I'll be honest. Uh, moving on, the cloud security engineer. If you've been following my series, I've talked about this quite a bit. As a cloud security engineer, your, your uh, functions is a bit more diverse. You have to design secure cloud architectures, be it AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, implement cloud native security controls, right? Or commercial controls, like, you know, you might be implementing a CSPM like Wiz or cloud conformity from Fred Micro, making sure that you are able to review infrastructure as code, right? Uh, responding to cloud-based incidents, maybe putting in some sort of automation and collaborating with DevOps and the engineering teams who are making this like making the cloud infrastructure. So you can already see there's a little bit of overlap between cloud and AppSec jobs, right? Okay, let's talk about the entry level difficulty. How difficult is it to start either of these careers? So an application security engineer is like easy to medium. I put it medium, but like I would say easy to medium. If you already know coding and problem solving, definitely you will not find this to be difficult and you are interested in how software can be exploited, right? And very importantly, you're good at communicating with developers. The most, like the problems I've seen coming out of people who do this sort of application security, they're not able to communicate with developers properly. They just give it the, they give the developers the report and go away. It, it won't, it's, that's definitely, that, that will be a very harmful to your career if you're not able to communicate, right? Or, and what are the cons? Like, when should you not do this? like job if you don't like enjoy reading or writing code yeah definitely this is not the job for you right if you're not interested in application security or software development definitely stay far away from becoming an application security engineer as an entry level position this is for people who are interested in how application work microservices monolithic architectures my you know containerization all these sort of things they find interesting Cloud security engineer, if you have a good understanding of networking, cloud computing, you like working with tools, you know, which manage infrastructure, and you like working with infrastructure as code and automation. And when should you not do this? Like, again, there's a, there are scripting involved or CLI, cloud architecture concepts. If you find them to be boring and you enjoy doing coding, then definitely don't do go with cloud security, go with application level security. Okay, 
uh, one thing which I've been, if you are familiar with this series, I've been talking about vulnerability to AI and automation. Where do are, where are things going in the next three to five years? That's very, very important to know. The pace at which AI is very, very quickly adapting and becoming more and more uh, intelligent, right? It's, it's important to know. I don't want you to start a career that goes obsolete. So when it comes to application security, uh, what are we talking about? So when when it comes to AppSec, the vulnerability to automation and uh, AI, it, it's like moderate. It's not high, definitely not high. I know you must be hearing that uh, software development is going to go away and, uh, you know, like uh, AI agents are going to take over. That's not going to happen. Like, uh, at least it's going to take some time. It, no company is going to hand over its mission critical systems to an AI. I can assure you of that. You will still need people who are going to be writing code and securing it. Maybe the task will become more and more automated. The entire job function will not go away, but it is something to keep in mind. AI is becoming more and more intelligent and better at writing code. AI agents are coming, but you know, think about it in this way. Who is going to be securing the code about these AI agents, right? The AI agents, when they are being developed or written, you need to secure them also. So uh, application security will always be needed, but it will evolve definitely. You will, like I've written here, Human oversight is always needed for, you know, understanding the context to prioritize and to talk to people. Remember that an AI cannot read between the lines. It cannot read the room and understand the like the temperature of a room, how to talk to developers. Uh, these sort of things an AI will never be able to do. You as an application security engineer, you will be able to do that, right? So to stay relevant, I would recommend building more soft skills also to make sure uh, to learn AI right focus on like how the secure development life cycle is changing in the future how the agentic ai is taking over how agentic ai is writing code how to secure it how to use ai tools to improve your own application security skills all of these things you have to keep in mind if you want to stay relevant in application security but it's not a high risk it's definitely like i would say a moderate level risk uh, cloud security engineer, I would say the automation is a bit lower. It's less vulnerable to automation because you still need a lot of human design, strategic implementation, and the job requires architecture, compliance, you know, uh, looking at infrastructure as code, doing threat modeling, implementing the tools. Automation is there, but somebody needs to do that automation, right? And like I said, as more and more AI comes up, as more and more companies migrate to the cloud, the demand will be there. So one thing, like I said before, I, I added a new area because application security is slightly different in that there is a lot of areas of overlap. And those are important to know, like I show you. So where do cloud security and application security overlap and combine? So there are many things. Container security, both of whether you are an AppSec or you are a cloud security guy, you're going to be working with Docker, Kubernetes, you know, ensuring images and deployments are secure. So that is something you can like look at. A CI/CD pipeline integration. I've I, I cannot tell you how many times I've had to do this and put in tools to make sure that security is embedded into your build and deploy processes, infrastructure as code, AppSec. As an AppSec, you're going to be doing it. And as a cloud security guy, you're going to be doing it. And of course, a DevSecOps. So all of these things, these are the four areas which are there, whether you're in cloud security or in application security. So keep that in mind, uh, definitely. And why, why am I telling you this? Because if you start application security and you find out, okay, maybe this is not for me, or you feel that, no, I want to move into cloud security. Those are the areas you can use to piggyback yourself into cloud security, or maybe you're in cloud security, but you find application security to be more interesting by talking about those areas, by focusing on these areas, you can segue into application security in the future. So these are the areas, these four areas, uh, I wanted you to understand. They are, they are common across both of them and which is right for you. So which is right for you, of course, this is a decision you have to make, but choose AppSec if you have like a background in programming, you did programming and you liked it, you enjoy analyzing code and, you know, identifying security issues and you're like, this is something which interests you. How can applications be exploited? You're interested in application architectures like microservices, monolithic architectures, you know, uh, Kubernetes, and you want to, you find working with developers to be much more satisfying and enjoyable. Definitely, this is a career for you. If you be a cloud security engineer, if you're like me, you prefer, you know, project-based architectural work, designing secure systems, solving problem, and you have an experience or like interest in cloud platforms. You know how AWS works, how Azure works, and you want, you don't want to wait for like a, 
what you call application things to happen. You want to proactively work and secure the infrastructure yourself. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Now, I hope you've gotten a better idea and I've shown you the areas of overlap between cloud security engineering and application security. Both of them are amazing fields. Both of them have a lot of promise and I hope this helps you to make that decision. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and for the next video. Thank you very much.